This is the all-new Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. The most popular Linux distribution in the world gets a massive update that is packed with stunning new features and major improvements. A new interface style, amazing performance boost, better customization options, and a host of new features make Ubuntu 22.04 LTS noteworthy. Yes, this is the biggest update to Ubuntu yet. I've been using Ubuntu 22.04 codenamed Jammy Jellyfish since its release and I'm really impressed as we are getting many new things. Ubuntu LTS versions are really important as they are the highest used Linux distributions. They set the trends and Ubuntu 22.04 LTS has already started receiving a lot of appreciation from the community. So let's jump right in and see what's new in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. The new tech that enables a boosted performance, the stability, the deal with snap apps, the UI changes, gaming, installation and everything else. This will be a fast paced video as there's a lot to talk about and a lot to get excited about. So buckle up. Let's start off with the user interface and here we see many fantastic changes and improvements. User interface is one department that's getting a lot of appreciation in this release. We get the all new GNOME 42 with that touch of Ubuntu branding here. The new workspaces, the new application grid, the desktop is sleeker and better now. And obviously, we get that maroonish Ubuntu feel with this new jammy jellyfish wallpaper. And if you look closely, orange is the new accent color now. This system looks so modern and glossy. And if you think orange is not the new black yet, then you can choose from an array of 10 pre-selected colors and give your desktop your own personal charm. This version also brings a new system-wide dark mode that completely redefines how your desktop looks and feels. GNOME 42 is getting a lot of attention because of this dark mode because this is so polished and that attention to detail can be felt. All the applications look so gorgeous with this theme and there are no inconsistencies or irregularities of color in any application, pre-installed or third-party. So this is dark mode done properly on Linux. Even the light theme is very refined. Ubuntu has always been one of the final Linux distributions as far as aesthetics and refinement are concerned. The theme, animations, and the fonts especially have always been top class in Ubuntu and the same high quality continues with 22.04. Customization options are also very good this time around. Along with additional accent colors, you can also turn off the panel and use it as a dock as you would in stock GNOME. This is a very good option as I'm sure many people would love to use Ubuntu with more of a stock GNOME look and feel. I'm very happy with the user interface. It looks so elegant and the experience of using the new Ubuntu is just amazing. Ubuntu has had a long journey experimenting a lot with user interfaces and I'm glad that we have arrived to this gorgeous UI. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS brings good tidings in the performance department too. Most significantly, we get dynamic triple buffering which delivers dramatically improved responsiveness to the system. Ubuntu's user interface now runs visibly smoother because of this dynamic triple buffering technology. Mid-range laptops and desktops will benefit hugely from this. If you use Intel integrated or AMD graphics, GNOME now runs that much smoother. This new technology makes stuttering and lag almost non-existent in the user interface. You get better frames per second in the UI almost double in certain situations. You can try this out on your computer. If you previously had any lag or stuttering in GNOME, like when opening the application grid or workspaces, these are gone now with this Ubuntu. The interface feels butter smooth. This works with Nvidia, AMD and Intel integrated graphics. If you use a high frame rate monitor, dynamic triple buffering makes it a visual treat. A fluid fast visual treat. Dynamic triple buffering was supposed to be included in GNOME 42 update, but was cancelled in the last minute. But Ubuntu included this tech in 22.04 anyway. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is the first Ubuntu version that works on Raspberry Pi 4 lineup with full desktop environment. That too heavily utilizes this dynamic triple buffering. GNOME 42 desktop environment also brings in a lot of performance improvements. With GNOME 40 Plus versions itself, we started seeing a smoother experience. With the introduction of GTK4 and LibAdvaita, the performance of application has also improved. So as more and more apps get updated to GTK4, we can expect better performance from these apps. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS uses Wayland Display Server by default. Wayland provides better performance everywhere. Mainly in the UI and web browsing, you'll notice improved performance. 
Another noticeable advantage of Wayland is screen tearing issues on older computers are fully solved now. Wayland has reached that appreciable maturity point, so I think it's good that Ubuntu has gone with it as the default display server. But Nvidia users will not be getting Wayland yet, but the performance is still good, so no worries. We also see a good amount of incremental performance gain over the last LTS version. Thanks to a host of performance improvements, everyday computer usage definitely feels smoother now. App switching, browsing, day-to-day -day tasks all run very fast. Even for heavier things like gaming and compiling, you can expect a decent performance. Performance-wise, I can tell you, you're really going to enjoy using this system. Ubuntu 22.04 is an LTS release. LTS is short for long-term support. This version will be supported till 2027 and will receive security and maintenance updates for the next 5 years. These LTS versions of Ubuntu are the highest used Linux distributions in the world because they have some clear advantages like superior stability and high degree of dependability. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS comes with very high security standards. That's why this is used in servers and critical computing situations. For people coming from Windows background, Ubuntu does not need an antivirus or any other defensive or maintenance software, so it's very low maintenance. All the updates are very well tested and confirmed to work 100% fine, so that brings peace of mind to the users. Install Ubuntu once and forget about it. And talking about the usability, Ubuntu is a pioneer in this field. Ubuntu debuted as Linux for humans because of its ease of use and intuitiveness, and it has come a long way since then. Everything is so easy here, even Linux newcomers will feel at home very quickly here. The settings are all easy to understand and everything is made as simple as it could get here. That's why Ubuntu is particularly appealing to Linux newcomers. Overall, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is a suitable computing system for students, software professionals, businesses, for home usage and servers. You can use this virtually anywhere you want. It provides a dependable computing environment. Just have some fun and get some work done. Software availability is just phenomenal on Ubuntu. Ubuntu as the most popular Linux distribution gets a lot of special attention from software vendors. Many top vendors test and publish their software with Ubuntu in mind, and software availability has only gotten better and better with snaps. Let's talk about snaps in a minute. Out of the box, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS comes with a good number of pre-installed applications. There is a browser, an email client, office software and other utilities that make Ubuntu usable immediately after installation. Then you can download and install software from the Ubuntu software store. Here we get thousands of amazing software. Pretty much anything you want can be installed from here with a single click. In the Ubuntu software store, snap apps are prioritized over traditional .deb packages. But you can easily select .deb packages from this drop down. Ubuntu software repositories contain around 60,000 well-tested packages and they all are easily installable. Although Ubuntu is encouraging users to install and use Snap software, they are not neglecting their .deb software repositories. Ubuntu official repositories are still amazing and teeming with top quality, well-tested packages. Now coming to Snap packages. Ubuntu software store is filled with them and these snaps bring us all the software in the newest versions immediately after their release. Yeah, with snaps, you are not restricted into using older package versions, which can be an issue at times on distros like Ubuntu and Debian. You get the latest versions of all the software, always, as these snaps are maintained by the software developers themselves. But snaps have received more than their fair share of criticism, and they have their issues like tediously slow first startup times. Snaps also have considerably larger footprint when compared to their .deb versions and so on. But they have come a long way since their inception. Snaps look so much better now as they integrate really well with system theming. Snap apps have slow startup times for the first time only. Then on, they open up instantaneously. Also, Canonical has recently announced that the Snap Core will be completely rewritten from the beginning. Now this will be an opportunity to create something great. Keeping the strengths of Snaps and improving upon the weaknesses, weeding out the issues and making Snaps truly amazing. And I'm truly optimistic about this move. In other snap news, in Ubuntu 22.04, Firefox is shipped as a snap. Before we even talk about this, the command to remove snap Firefox and install .deb Firefox is given in the description below. Apparently, the decision to ship Firefox as a snap was a joint decision taken by Canonical team and the Firefox team, as it was getting exhausting for the Firefox team to test, 
update and maintain a version of Firefox for all the versions of Ubuntu. And there are 4 actively supported Ubuntu versions right now. I've been using Firefox Snap since I installed Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and I haven't had any appalling experiences. It's the same pleasant experience as usual, but the first startup time is definitely noticeable, especially if you are on a hard disk drive. On SSDs, you should be just fine. But still, I prefer to use the native Firefox instead of the Snap right now, so I'll be running that command. These Snaps make the work of software developers really easy. Snaps eliminate the process of packaging and testing their software for so many different Linux distributions, and dependencies bring in a strong element of complexity. Snaps really make the whole process simpler by a considerable degree. Many major software vendors like Google, Nextcloud and Slack have brought their software to Linux with Snaps and only because of Snaps. So Snaps do have their positive attributes and I hope the best for it. Snap or no Snap, Ubuntu provides best-in-class software availability. Anything you want can be installed here in a quick, convenient and secure way. Gaming on the new Ubuntu is amazing too. Not just Ubuntu, but Linux as whole has become recommendable for gaming because of some huge advancements in Proton. Proton is a fork of Wine which is being developed at a rapid pace by Valve. Valve is the parent company of gaming giant Steam. Steam has done extraordinary work in making gaming on Linux what it is today. Many top games are now available on Linux natively and even games which are not available on Linux can be played on Linux with Steam Play. Games like Cyberpunk 2077, GTA V, The Witcher 3 and many more amazing top titles can be installed from Steam and they run like they are Linux native. The performance is great and there are no installation hazards. So yeah, gaming did pick up on Linux, thanks to Steam. And since we are giving credits, Wine deserves a huge thanks. Proton, Steam Play, GTA V on Ubuntu is all made possible only because of what the amazing contributors of Wine did. They started it all, so a huge shout out to them. There are also a good number of amazing games in the software store. Xonautic and Zero AD are my absolute favorites. You can also install Steam from the software store or get it from Steam's official website and get gaming. Enable Steam Play from the settings to run non-Linux titles. The performance on the new Ubuntu is good too. You get the latest of all the GPU drivers automatically installed, so you'll be getting the best out of your hardware always. Nvidia users might want to check if the official drivers are installed or not, just to make sure. Overall, gaming on the new Ubuntu is very good, both for casual gamers and enthusiasts. Community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Ubuntu has a huge community that's also very helpful. You'll find an exhaustive list of community written troubleshooting guides, how to articles and so many questions answered. This makes the experience of using Ubuntu very convenient as any issues you might face can be easily solved with a single Google search. Even any new questions you might have will be answered very quickly. Community support can mean life or death for a Linux distro and Ubuntu has an amazing one. So major points here. Ask Ubuntu Forum is an amazing resource where even most hardware specific issues are solved and everything is so beginner friendly. So even Linux newcomers can use Ubuntu easily. Ubuntu has a very simple and straightforward installation. Everything is easy to understand and very beginner friendly. You download the proper ISO file, flash it onto a USB stick, live boot into it and start the installer. Ubuntu gives us simple automated options like erase disk and install Ubuntu and install Ubuntu alongside other operating systems. These two options make Ubuntu very accessible for Linux newcomers. Be mindful that the erase disk option completely wipes your data. There are advanced options like manually partitioning your drives too, which I tend to use most of the times. After installation on first boot up, the welcome app helps you get started with Ubuntu quickly by configuring some settings and installing some apps. And coming to drivers, all the drivers including Nvidia GPU drivers are automatically installed when you select the install third party software option. Installing the new Ubuntu takes around 15-20 minutes and is a very simple process. But people who are new to Linux might need some guidance so I've linked the step by step Ubuntu 22.04 installation guide video in the description below. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS Jammy Jellyfish is a gold standard operating system. In every department, be it the user interface, performance, stability, everywhere it scores top points. Ubuntu has had its criticisms and there's nothing wrong in calling something slow if it's slow. I'm all for constructive criticism. Feedback is very crucial for growth, but I absolutely hate it when someone tries to do something new, something innovative and gets chastised for it. 
I'm really happy to see this release as it is one step closer to that fabled ideal Linux distro. There is room for improvement, but today I'm happy with Jammy Jellyfish. As for snaps, we have a choice to not use them or use them as they have some clear winning points. All in all, this is a major release that will be used in millions of systems across the globe and Ubuntu developers have put out a product that's high quality and deserving. The download link is in the description below, do check it out. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to the channel as I have some major Ubuntu videos planned. Next up, check out the top 20 things you must do to get the most out of your new Ubuntu installation. This is Linux Techs, signing out.